Dr. David Omi here. I'm a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon based in Melbourne, and today I'm gonna to be talking about spinal stenosis. Now, in order to understand what spinal stenosis is, it's important to understand what the spinal canal is. I have a model here of the spine. We can see here that the vertebral bodies are stacked up on top of each other. Now, the back of the spine is roofed in by what we call the lamina. Now, between the lamina and the vertebral bodies is the spinal canal, and that's the canal where all of the nerves run. Now, normally that canal has lots of room for the nerves. The nerves float in spinal fluid and they're free from any compression. Now, if that canal is narrowed for any reason, we term that spinal stenosis. Now, spinal stenosis or narrowing of the canal around the nerves can occur for a variety of reasons. Now, the most common cause of spinal stenosis is wear and tear or degeneration in the lumbar spine. As we all get older, our intervertebral discs wear out, the joints at the back of the spine become arthritic, ligaments can thicken and overgrow, discs can bulge. The result of all of this is narrowing of the spinal canal or spinal stenosis. Now, this may not cause any symptoms, and in fact, in most patients that might have some mild stenosis, it will be completely asymptomatic. But at some point, as the nerves become more and more compressed and the stenosis becomes tighter and tighter, you can start to develop symptoms from pressure on the nerves. Symptoms can relate, range from back pain to symptoms of sciatica or other symptoms in the legs involving pain, pins and needles or numbness or difficulty walking. Fortunately, spinal canal stenosis is treatable in most patients. Some patients won't need surgery, others will benefit greatly from having surgery. The surgery to treat lumbar canal stenosis is called a laminectomy. For more information about laminectomy, check out my other video.